Hey everyone, this is Bill. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk college football. We're going to present our week four top 25. We're going to take a look at the teams that fell out of last week's top 25, look at some teams that are trying to get into next week's top 25, and we're going to have some analysis about what's going on around the country. So join us as we take a look at this week's action, the top 25 for week four. First, we're going to cover a couple games from last week. We're going to start with Ole Miss at Alabama. Now, we thought Ole Miss had a great chance in this game. Uh, they do run the ball well with Quishon Judkins. And just Alabama had some questions on offense. And we just thought that this might be an opportunity for Ole Miss to win the game. But the running game is not there. I don't know what happened to it. Uh, Judkins ran for 1,600-some-odd yards last year. He, I don't even think he's their leading rusher. I saw this tweet on Twitter. And it said Lane Kiffin has maybe reached his ceiling. Ole Miss is good for eight or nine wins, but without elite talent everywhere, and I don't know if he can get it at Ole Miss, that's where they're going to stick. That's kind of their ceiling. I think I might agree with that. I do think Lane Kiffin's an outstanding coach, but man, if they were going to get Alabama, this might have been the year, and they didn't do it. Another game we want to talk about is Florida State's overtime win at Clemson. Now, we thought Clemson, having already lost to Duke, was about to lose their spot on the national stage, and they were going to fight to the death to prevent that from happening. And boy, did they. Clemson, we thought, played an outstanding game. Cade Klubnick was really strong, but the one play, the fumble on the blindside sack by Kalen DeLoach secured the game, really, for the Seminoles to get back in it. Um, but uh, we thought Clemson was very tough. We thought they would be tough. I saw this uh, post on Twitter also. The Tigers were 61-3 and since 2014, the last time Florida State beat them. And this was their first home loss by more than one point since that time. So taming the Tigers in Death Valley was going to be a tall task. The Seminoles about didn't do it, but they did. And they're surviving and advancing. All right, so let's take a look now at the teams that fell out of last week's top 25 and some are that are looking to get back in it or in it for the first time. So Colorado blasted at Oregon. Now they were running, you know, Colorado made a lot of, uh, you know, noise talking about how other teams were disrespecting them. Boy, they uh, are on video disrespecting Oregon before the game and they got smacked right in the teeth. Uh, a lot of people were thinking that that's a great thing. We saw some other people who had a political agenda saying, well, why are you talking about Colorado like this? Well, Colorado's been running their mouth. They've been they've been portrayed by the media to be something that they're not. It was a great story. We think Colorado's overachieving. We didn't, coming into the season, we didn't think their line was going to be able to hold up. And it really didn't against Oregon. But, uh, man, it's a great story and everything. But they're not going to the playoff. <laughs> you know, so uh, ESPN, game day and big noon, they're all there. They're all there for the pomp and circumstance. They're not there for winning football, for top-level winning football at this time. We've said all along, Deion Sanders is a winner. He'll get them there, but not right now. Anyway, so Colorado's out. Iowa, dismal performance at Penn State. Nobody expected them to win the game, I don't believe. But they got two first downs. This, Folks, this ain't going to get it done. I, I don't know. The brass at Iowa, I don't know what they're thinking. That's just not going to get it done. So Iowa is out. Looking to get in, the Kansas Jayhawks. Now they play Texas this weekend. They got bombed by Texas last year, but they've had a they've had experience beating Texas. So here's a real big opportunity for Lance Leipold and the Jayhawks. The Aggies of Texas A&M are floating out there after their loss to Miami. Kentucky hosts the Florida Gators, who we got ranked 23rd. Big opportunity for Mark Stoops in Kentucky. Boy, he has that program at a level. You just didn't think possible, but uh, that's going to be a great game. I believe that's at noon on Saturday. Kansas State, too. Maryland is a team we're really looking at. They are starting to look strong, and they are potentially rolling up into the top 25 very soon. Wisconsin, uh, they're struggling a little bit. Uh, we're going to see how the rest of their season uh, turns out. Big Ten West is, is poor again, so it's wide open. Louisville's looking good. So is Syracuse. Now, Syracuse has a great opportunity with Clemson coming in. Clemson's a little bit wounded. We Clemson made their last stand last weekend. So now they're going to have to really gear up going forward. The Tigers, 
and they historically do not play well at Syracuse. So this is going to be a very interesting football game. A chance for Syracuse to jump onto the national stage and into the top 25. Arkansas and BYU. BYU beat Arkansas a little bit. Now, Arkansas lost to LSU in a very close football game. I want folks to understand this is a border war rivalry. It's a very close game, generally speaking, over the years, and we expected it to be so, and it was. But LSU, down the stretch, made the play as they need to, and LSU keeps on moving. But Arkansas is a pretty good football team. Fresno State is really looking good. I mean, now they won their bowl game last year. They had a great season last year. They're still good. Watch out for them. Air Force is another team. They're very interesting. Here's Colorado and Iowa. Now, they're out of it, but they still have a chance to get back in it. Colorado has Southern California this week. Wyoming, that's a team we're looking at. They could be into the top 25. They had a close loss to Texas, but remember they beat Texas Tech? They're a pretty good football team. And West Virginia, you got to tip your hat to West Virginia. They beat Texas Tech this past weekend. Neil Brown needs some wins to secure his position there. For the Mountaineers, and that he got a big win this weekend. So we're excited uh, to see what West Virginia is doing. They've got some big games coming up down the stretch, and we're going to keep our eye on West Virginia. So those are our teams that are out of the top 25 and those who are looking to get back in it. Now, before we get to our top 25 for this week, we wanted to say something about the Washington State Oregon State game that took place on the Palouse this past weekend. Now, these are the two teams that are left out of all of this conference realignment, Oregon State and Washington State, and we find it interesting. Washington State is where Keith Jackson graduated. Can you imagine the great Keith Jackson telling America about how ridiculous all this is, that Washington State and Oregon State are not, uh, not allowed to be in the big group? Well, boy, I would love to hear the great Keith Jackson comment on it. I know what he'd be telling us, that this is a bunch of bull crap. But Washington State and Oregon State are playing outstanding football, and they're showing the country that they are teams that are worthy of being in this group. And I hope they are sometime soon in the next shakeup, which is coming. One more thing before we get to the top 25 for week four. We want to invite you to follow us over on Facebook at The Color and Pageantry. We're not a big site. We don't post every 10 minutes, but uh, we do have some things on there that are interesting. We would love to have you check us out and join us over there. That's at The Color and Pageantry over on Facebook. Now here is the top 25, our top 25 for week four. Tennessee starts us off at 25th. Now, they lost, and they just played so poorly down at Florida. The Swamp, as we've said, is a house of horrors for Tennessee, and it, it continued this year. But they rebounded nicely against University of Texas San Antonio. They got them, got after them pretty good. So Tennessee comes in at 25. Clemson, they were not in our top 25 last week, but we were impressed with the Tigers, what we call the last stand. Boy, they played very well, and Klubnik at quarterback played the best guy. I, I thought he played outstanding, made some great throws. So uh, I, I think Clemson has a chance from here to really build on some things. So we like what we saw from Clemson. The Gators of Florida are 23rd. UCLA is uh, 22nd. They fell. They uh, they lost a tough game uh, at Utah, and Utah's a good football team. The whole Pac-12 is just outstanding. Uh, so no harm, no foul, really, there for UCLA. They were supposed to lose the game. They did, but they did play pretty tough there against Utah. Missouri is 21st. They got the big, long kick two weeks ago to beat Kansas State. They're still rolling. We'll see how they do in the SEC when that gets really going. Ole Miss lost at Alabama. We discussed that a little while ago. We thought maybe they had a chance. They could not pull it off there at 20th. 19th is Oregon State, lost the close one. They, they were getting bombed early. Washington State is really rolling. But uh, Oregon State came back to make it close, but uh, they did lose the ball game on the road. The Oregon State, the Beavers, now they've got some big games coming up. They've got Utah at home this week, so they have a chance to rebound. We look for them to play very well in that game. North Carolina is 18th. They're 4-0 for the first time in quite a while. Mac Brown's got them going. They have the great quarterback, Drake May. Their season's going to heat up with some tough games coming up soon. The Miami Hurricanes are 4-0. We got them 17th. We've said all along we think Miami's better this year. We don't necessarily think they're a candidate for the ACC title, anything of that nature, but we definitely think they're a nine-win football team. Uh, you know, they're, they're better than they have been. There's no question 
their schedule is going to heat up as well. And here's Washington State at 16th. Very impressive performance against Oregon State. We think Oregon State's good on both sides of the ball. Washington State lit it up offensively. Uh, very impressed. Cameron Ward, just outstanding. Uh, Washington State, uh, uh, the Cougars at 16th. At 15, we have the Duke Blue Devils. They're 4-0. They had the opening uh, weekend win over Clemson, beating them 28-7. Duke's got a veteran team. I think they brought back 18 starters. Great quarterback. They host Notre Dame this weekend. That's where game day is going to be. And that's a big football game for Notre Dame. They have to rebound after their last second loss to Ohio State. And Duke has the opportunity of a lifetime right here. So that's going to be a great football game. We look forward to watching that. Duke has a chance for the top 10 if they can win the football game. Utah is 14th. Utah is still without Cam Rising. They're a great quarterback, but they're getting it done. But they got a tough one on the road at Oregon State this week. We'll see how that shakes out. Oklahoma's 13th. We've been impressed with Oklahoma this year so far, but at Cincinnati, they really didn't light it up like we thought they might. But they won the football game convincingly. They're still right there. They got a chance. Next weekend is the Red River Rivalry at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas at the Texas State Fair. We'll be watching. 12th is Alabama. You know, we thought Ole Miss, we thought maybe they could run the ball. There's not a dog. It doesn't look like a dog. I mean, I know Dallas Turner is an outstanding football player and Kool-Aid McKinstry. They got some people, but nobody's really a, a leader over there on the sideline uh, for Alabama defensively. And we thought maybe Ole Miss could run the we they, they could not run the ball. And Alabama made the plays they needed to offensively. Alabama, they're 12. They can, everything's still in front of Alabama. Watch them. Notre Dame 11. Had Ohio State pretty much beat. Made some bad defensive calls. Played some bad football at the end. Some bad coaching. They're defeated at home by Ohio State on the last play of the game. So they're 11th. LSU, 10th. A lot of people knocking LSU down farther than we did. We recognize that Arkansas, LSU is a border war. Always close, always hard fought. A lot of great games in that rivalry moving back over the years. LSU made the plays they needed to down the stretch. Their 10th. Oregon looked very strong, blasting Colorado at home. The nation was watching. Oregon, Bo Nix, what an outstanding player. Really impressed with what he's done coming over from Auburn, where he was a legacy player. His father played quarterback at Auburn and coached there as well. But Bo Nix, right there in the Heisman race. Oregon, their ninth. Southern Cal is eighth. They had a dogfight with Kenny Dillingham's Arizona State Sun Devils there. and uh, But they got it done. You know, that you just got to keep winning. That's the thing. You're going to have off weeks. They got Colorado this week. Colorado will come in, and uh, Southern Cal, we're going to see what they what they do with them. Penn State, their seventh, blasted Iowa. Now, Iowa is just inefficient on offense. They can't do anything, but Penn State is a good football team, both sides of the ball. Penn State, they blasted Iowa 31 to nothing. Ohio State, behind a lot of the game, did what they had to do to win the game. You got to congratulate Ryan Day. And I thought their quarterback, McCord, looked pretty good. Uh, better than I thought. So he looks like he's emerging. I think as the year goes on, he's going to get better. Ohio State will get better. Big win for the Buckeyes at Notre Dame. Texas is fifth, 4-0. They're rolling. They're going to be ready for Oklahoma next week. But they've got Kansas this week. Kansas has a, given them trouble in the past. And Kansas is a good football team under Lance Leipold. So let's see what happens this week. Maybe Texas is looking forward to Oklahoma overlooking Kansas. That would be a mistake. We'll see how it shakes out. Florida State, the big win at Clemson. Key plays in the game. Kalen Deloach with the sack, scoop, and score. Put the Seminoles tied. And then overtime was a mess. But Keon Coleman, the Michigan State transfer, huge catch in overtime. The Seminoles get out of Death Valley alive. And that's what they needed to do to keep rolling FSU off this week. And they're favored the rest of the way. Washington is third. What an outstanding football team. They were, I think they had about half a hundred at the half against Cal, who is known for their defense. Now, it got a little closer toward the, I think it was 59 to 32 maybe or something like that at the end of the game. 
But Washington looks like they can score on just about anybody, and they've got defensive players as well. So, man, that's a that's a great football team. If they can get through the Pac-12 unscathed, I mean, that's a playoff team. Uh, and with Penix, anything can happen for Washington. They're third. Michigan is second. Now, we have not seen a lot from Michigan. They really haven't played anybody, but that, the game against Rutgers was tighter than you think. Uh, Rutgers had opportunities in that game. They just could not convert it. They were at Michigan. You know, it's a tough, it's a tough situation there. But uh, Michigan, uh, you know, we, their season's ahead of them. They're at Nebraska this week. Now, Nebraska's been just awful. they got a pretty good defense there, the Cornhuskers, but the offense has got a lot of problems, a lot of injuries, unsettled. Uh, but we'll see this weekend what happens. We expect Michigan to win, you know, 30 to 15, 30 to 13, something like that. Michigan keeps rolling. We'll see what happens. Georgia, the Georgia Bulldogs, they're not playing all that great either, but they haven't needed to, and uh, that's what they've been doing the last couple of years. They've had some close games against people, but when they play somebody that counts, they blast them. Now, they got Auburn this week at Auburn, and that, you know, historically, that's been a very tough football game. Auburn, not quite where they want to be right now under Hugh Freeze, but, uh, man, it is Auburn. Uh, they do have players down there, so uh, we'll see what happens. But Georgia, Auburn this weekend. But until Georgia gets beat or really looks terrible, they're number one. They've won two national titles in a row. What? How do you, you know? How are you ranking them like fifth or fourth? You can't do it. The Bulldogs, until they're dethroned, they're sitting right there at number one. There you go. Okay, folks, that's our top twenty-five for week four. Uh, do drop us some comments. If we have anything wrong in here, somebody you think we should be have ranked a lot higher or somebody we got ranked too high, or love to hear your comments on it, drop us some comments down there in the comments section. Love to hear from you. Uh, do follow us over there at The Color and Pageantry. We're on Facebook. Like I say, we don't, you know, we're not one of the big sites or anything. This is not, but we do post things over there from time to time. You might find interesting. We'd love to have you over there. So we really appreciate you uh, taking time out to, to hear our top 25 we're looking forward to this week's games. As last week had a, there was a great slate last week of games. Not quite as good this week, but there's some good games. I'm interested in that Duke Notre Dame game. Drop us some comments. Let us know what you think about that one. Duke up and coming. Do they have a chance? Next week we got some good games. Texas Oklahoma. We'll highlight those games. But uh, hey, this week's going to be fun too. They all are. We we watch from from game day till Pac-12 after dark. We catch it all. Everything we can. You're going to enjoy it. And guess what? Somebody is going to get beat. And we'll talk to you about that next week. Take care.